morning. On behalf of the Bermuda Police Service, I would like to express our heartfelt sympathies to the family and friends of Jonathan Darrow. Our thoughts are with them during these very difficult times. The Bermuda Police Service has launched an investigation into the untimely death of Mr. Darrow, which is spearheaded by the Serious Crime Unit under the direction of Acting Detective Inspector Jason Smith. A family liaison officer has been assigned to the family to assist them through these difficult times and cope with the process. This marks, unfortunately, the second murder of 2015. Already officers are following up on some promising lines of inquiry. We know there were, there were numerous witnesses to this senseless crime. It is incumbent upon those that have information to step forward and provide it to the police. If you know something, say something. It is up to us as community to step forward and put to an end to this type of anti-social violence. I will now turn you over to Acting Detective Inspector Jason Smith. On Saturday the 22nd of August at about 4.15 a.m., there was a motor major altercation that took place at the Royal Hill Plaza outside of the ice screen. During the altercation, there was a large group of men and women who were involved in what can be described as an all-out brawl, where several men were brandishing bottles, helmets, and other projectiles. This melee ended with 27-year-old Jonathan Darrow being stabbed in the chest. He was subsequently taken to the King Edward Memorial Hospital, where he was pronounced dead at about 4.28 a.m. During the time of the incident, there were between 50 to 60 individuals that were congregated in the area. Some were in line purchasing food at the ice cream, while others were sitting in cars and others were in the area socializing. The Bermuda Police Service would like to make a very specific appeal and we would like to communicate with anyone who observed the incident as it unfolded, no matter how insignificant it may seem, we would like to communicate with you. We would also like to speak to anyone who may have been involved in the melee. This is your opportunity to come to us. We would also like to communicate with anyone who have heard anything in the community that may be of significance. We are also aware that there were several people who were filming this melee with the use of cell phones or any other electronic device. It is important to us that we also hear from you. We are asking for people in our community to be bold and help us to give closure to the family of Mr. Darrell. It is a community in which we all live in, and all of us must do our parts to bring closure and to restore peace and safety to our island. I'll not entertain any questions you might have. There were three people who were arrested shortly after the incident. Uh, those persons have communicated with the investigation, and they have subsequently been bailed. I will let Mr. Um, I'd like to uh, just take this opportunity to reassure the members of the public that the Bermuda Police deals with all acts of violence uh, very seriously and antisocial behavior. Uh, I'd also remind people that the uh, possession of a bladed article is a criminal offense and you'll be prosecuted for it. Um, we want to reassure the public that basically Criminals will use whatever weapons that they have at hand. Uh, violence is violence is unacceptable across the board. Really what we're asking the, the, the community to do right now is take a stand against this type of antisocial behavior. Uh, we have to take back our island and, and we do that by helping each other. And 
The Bermuda Police Service is trying to is asking for help in this matter. There's people out there who have information that can assist us. There's videos out there that can assist us. And as uh, Acting Detective Inspector Jason Smith said, you have to be bold. You have to step forward, and we have to put a, uh, a stop to this type of violence. This is at, at this stage, we don't believe this was gang related. Um, we are open to all avenues, and uh, certainly when the public speaks to us and informs us of what they know, we will act on that information. C C CCTV is assisting us, and it is one of the parts of the investigation that is driving it. But again, there were between 50 to 60 people who was in this area. And there was all walks of life that was in this area. And we, the police, and the investigative team are, are appealing to those individuals to come forward and to assist us. We have been informed that there are persons who were present who had uh, um, cell phones and that those were recording. So there's footage there. We need to speak to you. We need to hear from you. Anybody else? Any other questions? Yes, ma'am. There was absolutely no suggestion from the investigation that there was any firearms that were involved or brandish. But again, if there's members of the public who were present who would have witnessed that, then we would like to speak to them and hear from them as well. Uh, the victim was not necessarily known to the police, no. The Bermuda Police uh, will have a, a look at what's going on in this neighborhood. Uh, we'll take a problem-solving uh, approach to it and speak to the partners in the area and see what we can do uh, to en enhance safety and uh, reassure the public that this is a, a safe venue to come to. We'll look at the statistics and, and, and come up with uh, options that involve all the community in regards to that matter.